is Andrew and I play guitar and sing in Die Die Die. I'm Rory and I'm the bass player. And I'm Michael and I play drum. Mikey and I uh, were in a band, bands in Dunedin in high school. And we formed Die 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 in 2003 um, after we kind of left Dunedin and moved to Auckland and Wellington. We first started touring to Australia um, in 2004, really soon after we started, um, because the guy from She Had or someone seen, like, saw us play with uh, in Wellington and then we were all just like really young and didn't have anything else to do so we just went to Australia a lot and then um, and then we did, things just started going really well for us in Australia so then we were like oh well we, we didn't really want to come back to New Zealand so we went to a strip to America and recorded with Steve Albini um, and then we signed with a, a label or some over there and then we just ended up just touring for about five years essentially we would come back um, in the summertime and then we just go again yeah, the, the new record, how did that come about? The new record came about because you guys wanted to tour and asked me if I wanted to join in. Yeah. And then we wrote some new songs in about a day. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys had already written some stuff together, but we essentially pulled it all together in about two, a couple of days, right? Yep. Yeah, and then we recorded it all in a day as well, so very efficient, on my boat, we recorded it on a boat, so, um, yeah. And then, yeah, then we, we, well, actually we did a quick quick European tour, about seven shows, and then we went on the boat with Rory, and, um, and yeah, that's EP, and now we're in New Zealand, and we're going to Australia next week as well to do, release it over there as well. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Wollongong. Wollongong, <laughs> and then we're going to do some more recording in Byron Bay. And uh, yeah, it's all it's pretty good, good vibes. People talk, to people talk, to people talk, and people talk. I don't want. People used to really find us quite far out, which now you know you'll meet like sixteen-year-old kids who are like, oh my God, please. <laughs> yeah, like, I've downloaded every single album by every single band, you know. So the thing, you know, has changed in that regard. People know a lot more music, um, and now there's a scene in New Zealand like these cool bars, like Great Job, and you know, everywhere there's like really cool stuff going on. So it's the whole country's got really good buzz at the moment. I yeah, know. I see better bands here than I do at home. Yeah, it's quite yeah. a weird. It's weird. like half the amount of people here. You know, how many people live in New Zealand? About four million. Yeah, it's half the amount of people in London. There's loads of better bands here. What's going on with that? <laughs> yeah. My only advice for bands from New Zealand wanting to go overseas would be go overseas and, and, and do it. You're going to have to just go there. And, um... We well, can't expect it's all going to come... Most of these dreams are going to come true, though. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pretty tough. So if you're going to do it, you've got to do it because you enjoy it. You yeah, can't exactly. go out there thinking, well, we're going to be big, it's going to be great. Yeah, you know, it might work, but you've got to just enjoy yourself. And you, I think you'll... Bands will nat naturally do better if they just be natural and enjoy themselves. I've seen so many bands peg their hopes on some sort of big break and then they sort of stop as soon as their album doesn't do well. Or yeah, it's disheartening, you know? Yeah, disheartening, or if their record, you know, if they don't get signed. Or, and then, but I think everything always works out for the best. And if, you, you know, if the right thing doesn't happen, it usually always turns out for the right reason. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes it's things like when I've been like, oh man, what a bummer, I'm so glad we didn't, you know, I wish we'd gotten that support slot for... Hoochie and the Bolt yeah. Blowfish. Hoochie <laughs> and the Bolt Blowfish or something. <laughs> and then you turn out like four years later going, oh, that would have been horrible. Mm. Why haven't you called me Hootie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting, Hootie. <laughs> Thank you so much, we got it, I...